Hi, my name is Stephanie, and in this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to train a TensorFlow model on Google Cloud Platform. So to do this, I first went to https.google.com slash getting started slash sample projects. And here on this page, it will have some quick starts. And these are tutorials to help you get started with Google Cloud Platform. And I'm going to go to train a TensorFlow model. So you can read through all of these, but um, basically to train your model, it'll cost a few dollars. So you have to enable billing for your Google Cloud project. So first you make your project on the Cloud Platform console. Then you enable billing for the project. And then you enable the Cloud Machine Learning Engine and Compute en Engine API. So I've already done this. I named my project TensorFlow. If you go to Billing. And you click on your project and then these three dots. You can enable and disable billing here. And then for the API. Uh, APIs and services. That's not right. Uh, you select your project. And it will enable the API. It'll take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause and come back. Okay, so after your API is enabled, you go to your credentials. And you add your credentials. Uh, this API doesn't require that, you're, that you create credentials, so you don't need to do anything. So let's go back home. So after you do that, you set up your environment. So you can either do this in the Cloud Shells or your... Uh, terminal or console if you're using Windows, but use a virtual envi environment, virtual end, and then enable the virtual environment or start it. All right, you'll see that the virtual environment is not activated. You can see what version of Python that you have by hitting Python V. And if you're using Python 3, you know, Python 3. Then you install the Google Cloud SDK. So to do that, uh, you do G Cloud init. And I've already set this up. So it's already has all my configuration details. Um, it has the project, has my account, region. And if this is not set up already, um, it'll prompt you for that information. So after initializing the cloud SDK, you make sure you have PIP, which is the Python package manager. So. So I have PIP version 9.0.1. And then you would install TensorFlow with PIP. So I already have this install. So
me take a few seconds. I'm going to pause and come back. All right, I'm back. So I'm finished installing TensorFlow. And then you create your application default credentials. So gcloud auth application default login. So you pick your account. And you allow it access to your account. And now you're authenticated with Google Cloud SDK. And then you can close your window. So now you can verify your Google Cloud SDK, SDK components. So list your models. And I already created two models, but um, if you have none, it should say listed zero items. So now let's run a sample uh, TensorFlow Python program. So first you start the Python interactive shell, type in Python. Then you import TensorFlow. And you do hello equals TensorFlow constant. And create a TensorFlow session. And just ignore that error. And display your session. Should say hello TensorFlow. And then stop the interactive shell. Awesome. So we set up our environment and we test out TensorFlow and it's working fine. And in the next video, I'll go through this part of the tutorial where we'll develop and validate um, your trainer locally. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.